Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to cook probably the most popular chicken dish in the Indian subcontinent. Yes, I'm going to cook a tandoori chicken today. So this dish took its name from the tandoor oven it's normally cooked. Everyone can't have the luxury of having a tandoor oven at home. So I'm going to show you how to cook this dish in the oven with exactly the same smoky flavor you will get from a tandoor oven. Keep watching and I'm sure you will love this dish. As we always do, I'm going to break this into five simple steps. The first one is getting the tandoori marinade ready. The second stage is preparing the meat. Third stage is marinating the meat in the marinade. And the fourth stage is cooking. And the fifth and the final stage is tasting the cooked tandoori chicken. Come on, let's start preparing the tandoori paste or the tandoori marinade. With the tandoori paste done, it's time to get the chicken ready now. So here, I've got some chicken legs. I've taken the skin off and I've scored the meat. And I've also got some chicken thighs, boneless, for people who don't like the bone on the meat. Now, I'm going to marinate the chicken onto the tandoori paste. It is a messy job, but make sure the tandoori paste coats every part of the chicken. The longer you leave it to marinate, the better the flavor is going to be. I'm going to leave it in the fridge for it to marinate. The chicken has been marinated for well over an hour. I've just taken it out of the fridge and I'm going to lay it onto a tray to go into the oven. This goes on to a preheated oven. After cooking it in the oven for 15 minutes on each side, I've taken it out of the oven. I'm going to brush it with melted butter now. And that goes back into the oven for another 30 minutes. Now, now the tandoori chicken is ready to eat. You remember I told you about getting the exact smoky flavor as you get with the tandoori oven. That's what I'm going to do now. I've got a 
piece of charcoal here. I'm going to put it on flame and get it hot. So it's red hot now. I'm putting it in a bowl. I'm going to add some melted butter on top. That's going to create a smoke. I'm going to put that into the oven. I'm going to leave that for a minute or so, so the tandoori chicken takes the charcoal flavor and will taste exactly how it should taste if it's cooked in a tandoori oven. Now, it's time to taste. Oh my goodness, the taste of the melted butter, the smokiness of the charcoal, it's unbelievably tasty. You should try this at home.